It's time for a tech tip for experts, authors, and entrepreneurs. My name's Chet Davis, and I'm your technology tutor. Today's tip, connecting your computer to a projector. Now, if you're on the road traveling perhaps nationally and internationally into big concert halls, into big presentations, doing those keynote speeches, you likely will have access to a very well-versed, technologically savvy individual, and she or he can help you connect your computer to your projector. But if you're working in a small presentation hall, it would behoove you to make sure you're aware how you can connect your computer to their projector. Here's how we go about it. Here's a sample projector. This is an NEC projector, and many projectors have these same ports today. I'm going to point out you would use either one of two ports, either the VGA connector, which you see here, VGA. This particular projector has two different VGA ports. Many have only one. Usually they're colored blue, but sometimes they're black. But this is the VGA connector, and it's got 15 pins. Over here is a port we're going to see on more and more projectors and large screen presentation displays. This is called HDMI, HDMI. These are the two ports. Let me show you how to connect. So if you are working on a Windows computer, this is likely what you'll find. This is a VGA port. You can see it looks virtually identical. Well, it is identical to the same port we saw on the projector just a few moments ago. It's the same 15-pin connector. Now, I should point out these little connectors here on each side of the VGA port allow you to screw in the connector so it doesn't work itself loose. Not every cable has that, but if yours does, it's a great idea to go ahead and screw that into those threads so it doesn't come disconnected during a presentation. Now here's a cable we'll actually connect between those two. Very simple. A VGA cable will go between the projector's VGA port and your computer's VGA port. Now, the VGA cable does come in a variety of different lengths. I would recommend at the least getting a three-foot connector. You may want to bring a six-foot or nine-foot connector with you, depending on the presentation uh, place where you're going to be. But it's always a great idea to have your own cable with you, even if they say they're going to provide one. I recommend having this. I have it in my briefcase, in my presentation kit, the adapter and the VGA cable. Now, if you're on a Mac computer, on an Apple computer, MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, for example, you're not likely to find a VGA port on the later models. Instead, you've got one of these two, either what we call the mini display port for older Macs. If it's a Macintosh, it's been manufactured in the last couple years, you're very likely to have what we see in the bottom here, a Thunderbolt port. They are different in their functionality, but what we're talking about today, getting the computer to display on a projector, they are identical in form factor. You see the same exact size, but again, they have different functions, but not for what we're concerned with today. Either one of them will work with this particular adapter here. This is a mini display port to VGA adapter. Again, this is only if you're working on a later model Apple or Macintosh computer, MacBook Pro, MacBook Air. You can see the little connector on the right side goes into either the mini display port or the Thunderbolt port. And on the left side, we see the VGA cable. When it's connected, it looks like this. And that's where you'd connect that VGA cable that then goes into the projector. Now, it is important to note with VGA, it is only carrying the video. It's what we call analog video, not necessarily high definition. It can be good quality, but it's not HD video, but it is only video. If you're running audio, if you have um, perhaps music or an interview or something on your computer you need to play for your audience, you'll also want to connect audio. This is a great little uh, connector to have in your bag, mini plug to RCA phono connector. Again, I'll specify all this beneath the video on my YouTube channel. Now, if you have access to an HDMI port, as we see here on your projector, this is a cable that you might find uh, of great interest because this carries both audio and digital video. So the highest quality video possible when contrasted or compared to a VGA port. The last thing you're going to need to do is access the menu on the projector and select HDMI, which you can see is the second option here, or at the very bottom is PC and that will be your VGA connection. Again, VGA delivers analog video. The HDMI connector delivers digital video 
and digital audio both. If you have follow-up questions, I'd be delighted to hear from you. Go ahead and polo, post it below the video on my YouTube channel. You're also encouraged and welcome to send me an email message to chet at yourtechnologytutor.com. Thank you.